Well, well, well. So did YouTube get rid of the down, down votes count? Yes, they did. And this is a move to help promote propaganda. Because when you go to the YouTube video and you see that MSNBC, that CNN video, and they're telling you what you're supposed to think, and they has got the videos from Anthony Fauci or whatever it is that they're trying to promote, lies that, that Kyle Rittenhouse was a state line crossing white supremacist who brought a gun there to shoot up black people, whatever lie bullshit they're trying to promote um, is getting more down votes. Four to one in many cases. That's pretty common to see four to one. You see 100 up votes, you see 400 down votes. And that's a bit heartening for me because I think, okay, finally, my comment got deleted. I posted it and it got deleted. And this happens about half of my comments. And I'm thinking, fuck, am I the only fucking dude out there who's like, their shit's getting deleted? There's gotta be somebody else out there. I'm so isolated, I'm so alone, I'm so discriminated against. I'm so disempowered by the system that wants to quash individual thought. Is it just me? Am I the only motherfucker out there who's being quashed and steamrolled? They want to project an image of what society believes and what society thinks to create the new normal, to build back better and create a new normal and, and to define what the social rules are, what the norms are, what the values of society will be. And when they have the down, the dislike button with a dislike count on it, that ruins their story. They've got to create this new narrative that this is what everybody thinks. And when they put it all out there and people are commenting, well, they can delete those comments, they can censor it. What are they going to do about the dislike count when it shows four to one dislikes? And in many cases, it's way more than that. You'll see thousands of dislikes and, and less than a hundred, sometimes 10 to one dislike. People are like, they don't, they're not buying that shit. They're not buying the fucking lies through CNN, MSNBC, and others. All of them repeating the same thing. Don't trust alternative media that are trying to manipulate you and control what you think. Yeah, they're fucking gaslighting you with that bullshit. They're the ones who are doing that. They're projecting what they do by saying, don't listen and don't trust when other people are trying to manipulate you. They're the fucking manipulators. That's why they got rid of the fucking dislike button. Now, it sounds silly to get so worked up about something so small as this, but we are in all-out information war. They are trying to manipulate you. They are trying to get your mind. And the minds that they're going to get are the most impressionable. Those youngsters, those people who are growing up, who are two years old, wearing a fucking mask. And this is the world that they're born into. This is all they fucking know for them. This is normal. And they're making this impression that this is what's normal. This is what people believe. And this re reinforcement is coming through all channels. You walk into any establishment. Oh, put on your mask, sir. They're going to tell you every chance they can. You get on the bus. You walk down the street. You see a sign everywhere. It's fucking everywhere. It's pervasive. Now, one place where we could still see a semblance of social sanity was in that fucking dislike button. That's like, God damn, yes. We need that disdain. We need that scorn. We need that bitterness to show us what we really fucking think. That helps define you. What you don't like, what you see and react to helps define who you are. What you dislike helps define who you are. Don't look away from it. Don't pretend, oh, well, it's just everybody's opinion's fine. No. If you find something that's actually incorrect, something that's untrue, and it's being promoted as true, well, then you should probably have an issue with that. That's a problem, right? And if a lot of people are believing it, it's going to cause a problem. Moreover, the idea that lies can perpetuate it can exist and that people are okay with that. It's your truth. It's my truth. Whatever you want to believe is good. Two plus two is five. Bullshit. Deductive logic is a real thing. We need that fucking dislike button. That was one little bastion of hope. One beacon, one light that we could see. Ah, oh, okay. Because I'm fucking censored everywhere. 
and what it's like to be discriminated against. Most motherfuckers don't know what it's like to be me. I am, I am one of the most highly discriminated against individuals because about half of what I say online, which that's after I edited it, it's after all I took out all the fucking curse words, is, is still censored. It doesn't matter what the fuck it is. They got keyword filters. If you have a large vocabulary, if you think outside the box, they're gonna fucking get you. You're not allowed to exist. If you're like me, you're a non-conformist, you're non-compliant, you think independently, you're creative. You can't fucking exist in this new normal. You're not allowed. They have segments and they wanna put you into a bin that they can stick a label on. And that's not allowed. So then, so then you can't comment. So then what can you do? You can fucking still click that dislike button, but now you can't even see it anymore. Now it all goes back. It's the dislike button gives feedback to the people who are putting it out there in the first place. Oh, so they didn't like this video. Let's see how we can tailor it and manipulate these people a little more better. Change the algorithm a little bit. Change the words a little bit so that we get fewer dislikes. It's feedback for the people who have the power who are creating the videos. And obviously the people who have CNN are people going to trust CNN more. Even my fucking relatives who, who have illnesses, they're going to trust their doctor more. We're going to trust their doctor more. If their doctor tells them something, they'll believe it. If two out of three doctors prefer camels, people are going to choose camels. And if doctors keep perpetuating lies over decades and decades and decades, people will still go to the doctors. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't matter. It, even if that's been a proven wrong source, a proven bad source, people still go to the Catholic fucking church, even though it's been widely exposed that the Catholic priests have a penchant for fucking little boys. People still go to that. It looks like some authoritative source. That's what the dislike button has been converted into. It's been converted into feedback for the people who are putting out the fucking fake news, the fucking lies, the bullshit, the propaganda that they're trying to manipulate us with. And, and they, yeah, they do affect me. It does. It extremifies me. It's made me a lot angrier. You can look at all my past videos. I'm way more angrier than I, than I ever was. And, I, and I'm way more likely. <laughs> you can't even say what you're likely to do, right? But just suffice it to say, the censorship has been a big wake-up call to me. It's, it's been a wake-up call that, that's let me know that I'm the fucking enemy of the state. That they've made me their enemy. And when anybody wants to make me their enemy, I'm not going to fucking bow down and kiss their ass. I'm going to fucking stand up for myself. That's the corner you back me into? Fucking deal with it.